Guyanese drugsbaron Barry Dataram en zijn vrouw Anjani Boutnarin zijn zaterdag uitgeleverd aan de Guyanese autoriteiten. Dit nadat zij vrijdag in een huis op Latour werden gearresteerd. Ze hadden valse Guyanese paspoorten bij zich die op naam stonden van David Persoud en Christine Persoud. Het Aram werd op 27 september 2016 veroordeeld tot een gevangenisstraf van vijf jaar. Boudinarin en twee andere mannen werden toen vrijgesproken. Volgens de rechter was er geen bewijs om hen te koppelen aan de lading cocaïne die was gevonden in het huis van dat Aram in Diamond. After the exchange of paperwork between Kanu, the Guyana Police Force, and the Surinamese Police, Dataram was driven from the ferry to the Molson Creek Police Station, where he was handed over to local police. Dataram and Boudnarain were hurriedly escorted into the Molson Creek station with their luggage in tow. It was at the handing over of his personal belongings that this news has understands that it was discovered that Dataram had in his possession two cell phones, 150 US, Guyana $140 or a bus fare, and a quantity of Surinamese coins, which Guyanese would refer to as slack change. Head of Kanu James Singh said you cannot outrun the law, as he stressed that this is a perfect example of interagency cooperation. I must say it's a relief. Um, the fact that law enforcement cooperated between, um, the, between agencies here in Guyana and also with our counterparts in Suriname, this shows that what cooperation can achieve. But it also shows a commitment on the part, not just for Guyana too, but also the fact that our law enforcement strategy is that people will not feel that, you know, they can sort of get away. Even if they're sentenced and they attempt to run and hide, the law will catch up with you. How Budnaran and Dataram were able to obtain false passports is now the center of an investigation. Passports were issued to Dataram under the name David Bazard, while Budnaran was issued under the name Christine Bazard. It was by way of those documents that the couple gained entry into neighboring Suriname through Molson Creek. But how they were not detected by local immigration officials still remains a mystery. The police left nothing to chance as the two were escorted to the city by heavily armed members of the SWAT team. That ram is now resting in the Cam Street Jail while Bodnarine is at the Isla Penitence Police Lockup.